can perhaps relate to the importance of uh, mentorship and let me pick it up from there and we can go and talk about the overall importance of where we are. Um, I think we need more visibility, so that's uh, extremely important. Uh, now, the challenges before us as a country are that we have to take the country forward. I don't have to repeat what we see on television every single day, where we're headed, uh, but one of the resources that we have is our human power, uh, and 50% of that is women. And unfortunately, the starting point, and we can't really necessarily, and we don't have to, keep on going back at the historical impediments. I think the right question to ask is, what can we do today to make sure that there's a better and a smarter and a bit, uh, more prosperous future for our country? We have constraints, we've had constraints in the past. We can turn them cultural, religious, societal, those have been barriers, those have been roadblocks. I think the right question is what do we need to do today to make sure that we can overcome them. Technology, and that's what uh, jazz represents, is a great equalizer. What we have in our hands in the shape of a smartphone is a great liberator. It is a great equalizer in terms of education, in terms of social demographics, uh, and it empowers everybody, rich, poor, smart, less smart, if they really want to, to be able to do that. However, I'll uh, mention a couple of uh, uh, points that highlight the imbalance even when it comes to the use of technology. Uh, while I keep on saying that the smartphone is a remote control to our lives and it is uh, not only going to be a tool for communication, it is basically where you will get educated, this is where you will conduct commerce, this is how you will uh, be informed about news or how you will get entertained and entertain others. The sad reality is that even in our country today, uh, women are about 38% less likely to own a mobile phone. And that's a divide that we must overcome. They are about more than 50% less likely to own a smartphone, which, as I said, is the remote control to your life. So we are depriving women by our inaction of not having that empowering remote control. We must do, we must take stronger, longer strides to make sure that we can get rid of that imbalance. This is uh, the thinking behind our endeavor today and our partnership with our um, colleagues from UNDP. We wanted to address this particular issue. We wanted to make sure that we can go uh, the length and breadth of the country in making sure that we create uh, the enabling environment from boot camps that we partnered with and the goal was that at least about 50% of the participants of those boot camps were women. And it didn't really matter what the starting point is. Our job was to coach. And sometimes it is not easy to find uh, the requisite number of uh, participating women. That was the task given to our teams. And they were eventually successful in making sure that we could maintain that balance. We cannot automatically undo the historical uh, imbalances. But what we can be a lot more intentful about is the future. And at least in future, if we bring in that equity and equality, both in terms of number and quantity and quality, I think we can start addressing and accelerating the addressal of the imbalances that we have had in the past. We as a company are extremely committed to making sure that through our products and our services, our organization, we can positively impact the lives and livelihoods of women in Pakistan through technology. That is our soul. That is the reason why we exist beyond delivering profits for our shareholders. So at the core of what we do is the realization that we must take the women of this country forward if we have to take this country forward. I thank you very much for listening to me, for taking time out from your calendars, to the panelists, all of you, uh, to support and to create awareness and how important it is to make sure that we empower the women of this country through technological means. Thank you very much. They can be all they can be. Thanks to UNDP and to Jazz for um, conducting such type of uh, boot camps and uh, <coughs> Boot camps and sessions for women to upskill their uh, professional skills and um, accelerating women entrepreneurship, celebrating their successes, and um, 
providing the medium to untape the unlock potentials. Thank you so much. Back to work session. Yes. Mover's coordinator is a training of trainer session where we sort of raise awareness for youth in Pakistan about SDGs. So we had this interesting activity that my colleague Azima Zebi introduced to you where youth in this room were asked to uh, think of themselves as policy, policy makers and then come up with ideas about legislations we could involve and include in our legislati legislature that would help girl invo girls' involvement in ICT. And uh, here is one of the things. So I wanted to know how many people and what area, uh, what age groups they belong to. So it's very interesting. Obviously, this is more of a youth-led event. We do have plus 30. A, a majority of them are plus 30, but obviously we learn from elders. Uh, apart from that, I'm very proud to say that we have one participant who's te between 10 to 14. We have one participant from 14 to 18. We have two participants between the ages of 18 to 22, and then a majority between 22 plus. Um, next slide, please. And then we have these amazing recommendations that I will be sure to share with the SAPM. Um, so uh, let's select one of them. We have uh, one candidate who's saying that integrated digital skills as part of the education, making internet free for women, subsidized gadgets for women. So subsidies for women is very important because they belong to a more of an underprivileged and lack of access uh, background. Another suggestion we have is if I'm a political leader, I'm going to introduce a technology that ensures their easy access to the technology so that they can learn through it and this, that they can ensure women inclusion in ICT in Pakistan. So access to technology is a challenge in Pakistan as a person working for the tech sector in UNDP. Uh, we do come across this issue quite often that access is not available. So this is also a very good suggestion for the SAPM to note. Um, another one uh, is have young people and girls from marginalized segments, PWDs, transgender, religious minorities, in the parliament to vote, uh, in the parliament to voice of youth and legislate on issues which directly affect them. So inclusion of women of all sectors, PWDs, transgenders, uh, transgenders, religious minorities is very important. I apologize, transgenders do not belong to the female category. However, they are a minority that we do need to include. Um, these are some of the suggestions. Unfortunately, due to shortage of time, we won't be able to suggest, uh, we won't be able to read out all of them, but I'll be sure to uh, share them with the Youth Affairs Department for further suggestions. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. The first thing is that we have to say that if we have to say that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say आज का जो इवेंट था उसमें यही है कि हमने जो आईसीटी का जो शोबा है जिसमें इंफॉर्मेशन कम्युनिकेशन और टेक्नोलॉजी को मिला के आईसीटी कहते हैं ये बड़ा एक जरूरी शोबा है पाकिस्तान के लिए तरक्की के लिए इस शोबे में खवातीन की जो شمولیت है वो बहुत कम है जैस की ये काविश रही है हमेशा से कि हम जो भी कदम उठाएं उसमें पाकिस्तान की खवातीन को टेक्नोलॉजी से एनेबल करें उनकी जिंदगी उनकी आमदनी उनकी बेहतरी के लिए जो टेक्नोलॉजी सहूलतें प्रोवाइड कर सकती हैं हमारी कोशिश यही रही है कि हम उसको अफोर्डेबल करें उसकी अवेयरनेस बढ़ाएं डिजिटल स्किल्स करें तो आज के इवेंट जो है ये हमारे जो काविशों के उसकी अकासी करता है यही हमारी इंटेंशन रही है और मैं बड़ा खुश हूं कि आज पार्टिसिपेशन भी बड़ी अच्छी रही है हमने यूएनडीपी के साथ एक पार्टनरशिप की है जिसके थ्रू हमने पूरे पाकिस्तान में बहुत सारे बूट कैंप्स किए हैं बूट कैंप्स में हमने खवातीन की जो टेक्नोलॉजिकल और डिजिटल स्किल्स हैं उसके ऊपर डेवलपमेंट के ऊपर काम किया है सो अगेन दिस इज अ मच नीडेड स्टेप फॉर द कंट्री और आई होप के हमें देखते हुए बाकी कंपनीज भी जो हैं वो इस शोबे में और इस जर्नी में हमारा साथ दें देखिए सबसे बड़ा जो हमारा इवेंट है सॉरी जो एक प्रोजेक्ट है वो यही है कि हम एक्स के ऊपर अवेयरनेस क्रिएट कर रहे हैं फिर जैस कैश हमारा एक फाइनेंशियल फिनटेक जिसको कहते हैं उसमें हम कोशिश ये कर रहे हैं कि खातन को नैनो लोन्स या जो लोन्स हैं उनकी सहूलतें जो हैं वो ज़्यादा आसानी से दी जा सकें डिजिट फोर हमारा एक फोर का एक हैंडसेट है उसकी हमने कीमत कम की है हम सिम्स जो हैं वो ज़्यादा लोअर बैरियर के ऊपर खातन के लिए कर रहे हैं क्योंकि खातन मार्जिनलाइज फाइनेंशली भी हैं और सोसाइटली भी हैं तो हमारे जितने भी प्रोडक्ट्स हैं उनकी जो कीमतें हैं वो वेमेन के लिए ज़्यादा अफोर्डेबल होंगी थैंक यू
They can work from a village, um, they can work from any environment, so I think that is a, a key reason why we need... I don't know who's got... Just switch it on in case it's not on. Yeah, I hope it is. Um, well, thanks Naima, it's actually not a question. My name is Mudassar, I work for Jazz, I work for government and places. Uh, it's actually a suggestion for Ma'am Aisha, if you may. Uh, government uh, currently has industry funded. Uh, I don't really know whether that continues uh, elementary to middle and their orientation to ICTs. So uh, Microsoft, and a lot of people came together to do this. U USF funded this. Actually, you can see labs and curriculum and teachers, freshly inducted teachers, not the government teachers, government's initiative also. So maybe a relook at that could help this uh, subject uh, on developing girls and ICT. Thank you. The private sector. Uh, we also have uh, huge funds available with Ignite. Uh, so that is also an organization uh, which is working a lot. Uh, for encouraging uh, women participation in ICT. So we'll, we'll definitely do whatever is possible and uh, being additional, uh, the only uh, female in the uh, senior management of Ministry of IT, I think it's extremely important that we uh, continue to do these things and uh, we will try our best to ensure. There are ways we can go around. I know whenever we want to talk something, Uh, having work on both sides may be still possible. And this fund, fund mechanism is more sustainable because we know... What is your voice saying? I would like to share. Sorry, speak to Minister Saab. Discontinued democratic process, which has led to lack of development within the democratic institutions, which has in turn led to discontinuation of policies uh, once the governments change. And uh, it has been uh, a very unfortunate uh, you know, issue within the overall uh, development of the country. I will just give you one example. This uh, program that I'm heading right now was initiated in 2013. And then uh, the nomenclature changed and it became Kamyab Jawan, which was fine. Uh, they dropped a few uh, initiatives uh, like uh, laptops and uh, uh, scholarships, etc., which was also fine. But what, what is not fine is that they erased all the data that was available for all the government uh, projects that were done by this program from 2013 to 2018. And right now, if I ask my office, which has been there since 2013, uh, there seems even the domain was let go of. I've had to like re-buy that domain for a Prime Minister's Youth Program. To the, the, the data wiping is to the extent that I can't find the stats for uh, the laptops that were distributed, I can't find the data for the business loans that were dispersed. Uh, we can't find data for the scholarships that were So hi, um, it was awesome listening to you guys. So my name is Janine, I am your team, and I do a lot of models. But things are changing now, and I think this, this policy is going to be so much better. I think it's absolutely important. The main uh, you know, uh, factor that has been uh, assisting us of your own programs. So, uh, but that comes through a lot of personal and also professional development. I agree. I mean, I've always had mentors and, and it's not just me as a female, as an individual, we all need mentors, whether you're a male or a female. And you don't need to look just towards females for mentorship. Men are just as great at finding, uh, you know, providing mentorship. In fact, I found a lot of uh, mentors, uh, 
my senior male colleagues, um, they, uh, if, if I have taken interest in something, they will give me more responsibility or guide me uh, that, you know, how you can excel in this. Or they have tried to uh, enhance my uh, skill set. Uh, so bureaucracy is male dominated. I, I, I have hardly worked with a female senior. I, I think for two years, in my 28 years of career, only for two years I had a female boss. Otherwise, all my 